So good good morning, everyone. Welcome to the TISA presentation event. Basically, uh, there are basic rules for this presentation, and every participant will be getting twenty minutes to present. And uh, whenever a presentation presenter is presenting, uh, no one should ask questions in between. There will be a separate five to ten minute question and answer session. Once the presenter uh, finishes his or her presentation, uh, and uh, there should be no presentation on controversial topic like uh, politics, religion, caste, and all that. Uh, yeah. So I hope. all are uh, all are uh, so i hope that there is no doubt about the rules of presentation and the most important thing this is a completely safe place to stammer so don't hesitate to stammer as much as uh, as you want and uh, i will definitely recommend all of you to use and practice techniques while giving a presentation on this platform uh, so let us begin the presentations with ashutosh tripathi yes sir totally ready sir sir please can you make me the host so that i can share my screen uh, just a second uh... yeah now now you can share your screen yes yes i am going towards that only yeah and also i would request each and everyone to please uh, to please mute themselves and uh, i will also request all the all the participants and audience to stay until all the presentations are finished sir i am not able to do it i think so what happened just now sir sir no. wait 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 tisa presentation now it is not allowing me to share my screen it is not opening my drive also now so what this happening i don't know the sir your voice is not coming to me yeah so am i audible now yes sir yes sir yeah so i um, on on zoom direct message i have sent you my email address you can send your ppt on that email address sir the can i do it with my screen also sir uh, can i adjust share my screen also that i can yeah do sir wait yeah it is sir sir you can see my screen or not yes 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 sir uh, so first of all good morning to all of you my name is ashutosh 
Tripathi and I am uh, from Dorahat and so, so I am a member of TISA from past one year plus I have participated in many of the activities conducted by the TISA and basically I am a uh, very active member of the presentation uh, that uh, that is being conducted by the TISA from time to time so uh, so let's start with my presentation so first of all uh, my topic of my presentation is self belief so my first slide uh, explains you about what is self belief so my first line dictates that self belief is basically defined as the inner gut feeling of a push from inside so the line that i have just uh, uh, said over here is uh, says that uh, the self belief is the inner motivation uh, that is being um, that comes out from the uh, from our body itself only means that our mind plus our uh, various body parts when they uh, when they coordinately work uh, to to lower the discomfort that is being created by a condition uh, then that is called as self belief which compels us to do any work with proper discipline uh, plus at most strength and thus providing us with the best motivation to accomplish tasks so means when we are fulfilled with the self belief that we can do a work then the self belief plays a major um, means part in um, in providing us with the tools plus the proper guidance to to completely accomplish a task now my second line states that uh, when we have to define the word self belief by this one uh, line or phrase we can just um, say it by believing in yourself means self belief totally uh, totally uh, uh, is totally uh, means is uh, the self belief is defined by a uh, believing in yourself now what does this word mean believing in yourself this word means when we are confident enough uh, when we have the proper skills we are fulfilled with a proper um, determination that we can uh, we can perform or we can do a certain task with the utmost capabilities that we have then we can say that we have believed in oneself or believed in yourself so my next slide dictates us about the benefits of self belief self belief is that thing which can totally transform oneself when we are uh, when we are confident enough uh, that we can achieve uh, the uh, much more uh, much more goals that we set for oneself now my this line concludes that self belief uh, is that thing which can totally uh, change our uh, means it can totally change our emotions plus our believing pattern in oneself plus it uh, it propels us uh, plus it guides us to do a work with proper uh, means dedication my 
in second point uh, explains us about self belief induces a uh, fire within uh, in oneself uh, uh, that we can do anything means self belief is the proper key or we can just say that uh, that it is the proper uh, tool which can provide the the confident within oneself that we can do a certain thing with proper uh, with proper uh, means properly now third point is uh, um describe that the self belief uh means it comfort us to deal with difficult situations means whenever uh, whenever in life we face any difficult conditions or situations and whenever we lost and whenever we just lose our all our hope then the word self belief comes into play if we are left with a uh, means if we are left with with a small amount of self belief in oneself then we can just lit the fire that of hope uh, in oneself that we can achieve any success now my fourth slide uh, uh, describes us about how to believe in oneself self belief is not a characteristic or a property or a habit that can be developed overnight it takes a lot of determination plus hard work to develop a feeling of self belief in oneself means self belief just not come to us uh, within a certain minutes or within um, certain amount of days it, it takes a lot of perseverance plus hard work to generate a feeling of self belief in oneself now to develop the feeling of self belief firstly we should develop such characteristics and skills um, within oneself that are required to solve any problem so my this point uh, uh, my this point is one of the um, means strongest point that i kept over here my this point describes about that the uh, the feeling of self belief in oneself just cannot be just cannot be created by means uh, just by thinking or the something else it uh, it it uh, uh, that feeling is developed within oneself by proper hard work and plus when that person achieves the minimum amount of skills that are required to produce a feeling of self belief within oneself now my fourth point describes us about that uh, then only we can be assured that if i become uh, if i become confident enough that with my a uh, lady uh, with my skills then i can easily mean to come out of this problem means if a person is uh, uh, is capable enough to deal with a condition but that person means that person is equipped with 
with the total skills that are required to deal with a uh, proper uh, to deal with a certain uh, condition plus a situation but means at that time that person is not having a belief in uh, oneself that he can achieve that goal then he 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 cannot achieve that goal uh, uh just by just by means just by uh, with having that uh, with the characteristics he he must have that self believe in oneself that he can achieve that goal properly now my last slide uh, explains about some examples of self belief now this slide on uh, much means this slide is very close to my uh, mind so uh, you must have heard the story of maji the mountain man and a uh, movie was also created by the um, bollywood on this topic maji the mountain man so what we can learn from that story plus what we can learn from that person individual person maji uh, what are the uh, what are the characteristics that that person uh, um, must be having that which uh, that we should uh, also uh, keep within oneself so that man uh, uh, you must have heard the story of that man uh, his wife died due to uh, he 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 could not take her to a proper medical facility because of a mountain that was being a barrier between the medical facility plus his wife so the when his wife died due to that barrier that was being created by the mountain the uh, the maji he thought in oneself that he will break the mountain into pieces plus he will create a way for uh, not for just uh, oneself only and no he will create the way for the for that whole village to to get across that mountain now the thing is that man was equipped with proper characteristics means he uh, he knew how to break a stone but uh, there is a huge difference between um, breaking a stone plus a mountain so uh, by self believing in oneself means by self believing in uh, uh, in vanson fully that man was ultimately uh, got success in breaking that in in breaking that huge mountain into pieces plus founding a way or creating a way to connect that medical facility with that village so this was the greatest of the example um, that i have ever uh, thought of because that man was just a normal individual but with a proper belief in himself he was uh, just able to break a whole lot of mountain 
by just self believing so that's all about my side thank you very much plus uh, i just want to add one thing please start believing in yourself and thank you uh thank you ashutosh that was indeed a wonderful presentation uh so like now we can start with the question and answer session uh, does anyone have any questions for ashutosh yes um manvendra uh, you can you can ask the question to ashutosh uh, thank you rohel uh, first of all i want to say that the presentation by ashutosh was very well organized and he explained in a very well organized way so ashutosh i just want to ask one question that if yes sir uh, that uh, we see uh, that uh, the one who stammers he hmm. lost self confidence so and sometimes in many situations he start losing believing in oneself so how he can so what tricks or what ways he may use to increase his self confidence and start believing in himself so first of all uh, that i just want to from my side i just want to say that uh, that uh, we the stammers we face daily the problems that are being mean means created by us uh, by the people or uh, plus the conditions that we face daily so we can just face one day a uh, low means face in a life and plus the uh, just next day we uh, we can keep our the motivation too high or we can uh, we are just means fluent enough to speak properly so there are basically two types of days uh, uh, two types of days in a um, means stammering um, person's life just the low phase and the uh, next day we uh, we can be become a the um, means went speaker just the next day uh, now to in the response to a question i just want to um, sum up by saying that the low faces can be encountered by just practicing only plus facing the um, the toughest of the conditions daily and and not daily but, but within a particular span of time we should challenge ourselves that that to uh, be uh, uh, that proper in this or or today will go and and buy some groceries from this 
uh, store. So in that way, we can go on challenging ourselves by uh, by providing us with uh, with small small tasks on a daily basis, and that can uh, and that can particularly support us in a positive way that will practice plus uh, we will uh, gain small small steps of confidence on a daily basis that will ultimately lead to a mountain uh, to the mountain of confidence and um, and uh, plus i want to say that and when we will reach that mountain of confidence then we will be fluent enough to speak properly uh, in front of uh, basically um, then um, we will not care about what the, uh, what are the number of people that we have to face? So, by just practicing, we can encounter all this problem. And uh, we also face the low cases in our lives, but um, but uh, but we have to not move backward by that low faces. We have to accept them as challenges in our lives plus we have to be moving forward uh, and that's all from my side okay thank you ashutosh welcome sir uh, Ash uh, ashutosh i have one question for you uh, yes. During the presentation, you said that uh, uh, having high self-esteem takes a lot of time, which I completely agree. And you also said that uh, to develop high self-esteem, we so we can uh, we. Uh, we need some character ca we need to develop some characteristics and skills so my question is that according to you what set of skills or characteristics we need to develop to high to have high self esteem so that particularly depends on the problem that we are facing at that particular time. So let us suppose we are playing badminton. And now to play a, a, a certain kind of sport, uh, first of all, we need to learn uh, what are the basic rules, uh, what are the basic uh, uh, means skills that we need to be cubed off to play that sport. So uh, my sentence was that uh, to be a good player of badminton plus uh, to to achieve the the data of the success in that particular sport we we should be equipped with that particular skill first. If uh, we uh, don't know um, to uh, to the means, if we don't know about the, the small small details of that sport, uh, that sport, how we can achieve that greater success in that particular sport. So. That was my way of saying that to uh, to uh, achieve a high self esteem in life, we we first need to means 
equip ourselves um, with that skills that will be uh, required to achieve um, that uh, uh, to that level uh, and that's all thank you ashutosh uh, you explained it in a very wonderful way and uh, it was indeed a wonderful presentation thank you for good morning rohit ji yeah rohit hi hi, hi, hi. hi. <laughs> how are you yeah Great. fine fine what what about you <laughs> yeah same yeah yeah same yeah. thank you so much so so actually i had also a question yeah, sure. for ashutosh yeah so uh, so hi hi ashutosh i saw your presentation it was great so my question is ki what uh, we should do like when people try to bring our self belief or self confidence down at times we try to be uh, very much in a motivated or we try to believe ourselves but due to some circumstances or some external activities we try to or we uh, tend to have low self esteem or low self belief so how to overcome that thank you so much your presentation was very good i liked it thank you so much thank you first of all thank you sir for encouraging me to uh, so much and now uh, to the answer the of your question we can just uh, develop the self belief by practice that i just said uh, uh, that self belief is not a and belief can be created by once uh, in just few minutes or few days uh, we need to face the conditions or the Uh, we need to face the, the conditions to develop the self belief um, means we need to take the baby steps to to uh, to climb up the to climb up the means huge mountain of that self belief and plus when we talk about the low faces that we have to uh, face in our life that low faces also uh, teach us uh, something or the other means the low faces should be encountered in a positive way that and that today uh, by my low face uh, that i got to learn a new thing that uh, that that if further this particular low phase will occur in my life uh, means then i have then then at that time uh, that will be uh, for sure at that time me will be not uh, losing my, my means me will be not losing my confidence plus uh plus i will be encountering or facing that problem with much greater means means confidence so that i just want to say that we should uh, take the low faces that we face in a life uh, that as a compliment uh, that are being means given to us by the god that uh, the means by the god that the uh, the journey um, that you are following uh, that is one of the toughest one uh, plus you should be means skillful enough or you should be means capable enough to face that this in your life so i just want to conclude your question by saying that we just have to approach that low face by a positive intent that's all for my side thank you
थैंक यू आशुतोष तो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन मेघना टू गिव हर प्रेजेंटेशन यारुल एक्चुअली आई हैव सेंट यू एन ईमेल यस्टरडे विद माय पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन कैन यू प्रेजेंट इट ऑन स्क्रीन आई विल बिकॉज़ आई एम स्पीकिंग फ्रॉम द टैब राइट नाउ ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम या जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट आई शो शो शेयर इट एंड आई हैव something to add to ashutosh's uh, self belief presentation sure. if i can speak on that sure sure you can yeah so actually ashutosh uh, told that everyone will be having their uh, low phases and high phases in their uh, life and for this uh, thing i have a, a small example in my head that is a, you know there is a plant called as a chinese uh, bamboo if anyone have heard of it that a uh, plant takes around 10 years to grow at least 3 uh, to 4 inches but after uh, completing its 10 years of uh, life cycle at once the plant uh, shoots up uh, you know so high at once the plant grows so high that you know you will get astonished are aisa kaisa ho gaya ek hi bare mein itna uncha third kaya plant so uh, you know what i have understood from that is the plant uh, takes 10 years to develop the roots so uh, in those 10 years the plant will be developing its roots and after completing the 10 years with the help of the roots it has uh, developed the plant just grows so high so we should uh, not be disappointed with the low phases in our uh, life and at the same time we should also not be extremely happy with the high phases also yeah so that's all Uh, th- uh, thank you meghna for sharing so insightful information yeah yeah so are you guys able to see my screen yes it is it is visible so hello everyone my name is um, meghna pani pagishwari and i am from hyderabad telangana i have been associated with the uh, Tisa from past two weeks, and this is my first uh, presentation over here on the platform. And today's uh, topic for the day is um, movies and its impact on this society. So uh, these, uh, no, these days the movies have uh, are being viewed as a soft power to exhibit uh, one state's. Uh, culture traditions and also the people of the state and coming to the international uh, level movies are also seen as a very right option to exhibit uh, uh, one's uh, scientific skills or development let it be in the form of movies like harry potter avengers transformers or even to showcase one's intellectual uh, thought processes by m- making movies such as uh, parasite or even coming to our indian films like uh, rrr uh, which portrays our uh, pre independence struggles and how we indians have held with the oppression by the britishers so um, movies uh, definitely play a very strong role in our uh, society and we only have to use it for the positive uh, uh, for 
empowering the society and bringing about a positive change in this society so oh, can we go to the next slide rohil thank you so firstly i would uh, like to give a brief for uh, you about cinema cinema is primarily a form of art and art has uh, several forms to it and as per our uh, vedas and scriptures there are about 64 art uh, forms like dance music and everything poetry recitation uh, story telling etc art has always influenced uh, people to lead a better and the right is uh, life previously art uh, no all the stories and everything used to be conveyed to public through you know, skits uh, dance forms music etc now these uh, days the same art is being conveyed to public uh, via cinemas uh, and we indians we are uh, very diverse uh, country we have different kinds of art forms across uh, different states in the country and everyone has their own unique uh, way to tell the art in the form of uh, cinema like we can see how a movie which is being portrayed in maharashtra will be different from the movie which is being portrayed in telangana and also tamil nadu so that is how art differs from places to places and we will also get to know the different aspects of people around us okay and can we go to the next slide okay so everybody i know it is the answer is anyway here but uh, you guys uh, know the india's first uh, film and as it is described over here it is a uh, sri pundalik which has been released in 1912 this is the indians india's uh, first film and after that uh, raja harishchandra uh, has been released in the year 1930 and uh, both of these movies uh, were in marathi language which speaks heights about uh, by the bollywood industry which is currently in maharashtra is uh, thriving a lot because all the infrastructure has already been uh, established in that maharashtra state so these were the two first indian films and uh, can we go to the next slide okay so now coming to the introduction of cinema cinema has a expression of high impact and a reflection in society and it is a form of entertainment and also inspiration and it is definitely a very big way of uh, making money we know that uh, you know the, from the past 2 3 years films have been earning uh hundreds of crores in uh, uh hundreds of crores and uh, this is also increasing the revenue for the country and also creating lot of employment opportunities and and slowly as the indian cinema increases its uh, scope several new industries will also start flourishing in our country right from um, efx to uh, many other uh, action genres etc and uh, cinema is also seen as a way of uh, entertainment and inspiration um, you know uh, 
film inspires heroism heroism of film inspires uh, sacrifice of film inspires humor how people can eat their uh, lives happily without any you know sadness and etc and entered uh, insp- cinema inspires in every possible way and and i am a cinema buff so i can keep on speaking about this endlessly and uh, one thing is that cinema has to be viewed as you know a reflection in the society and we should always try to make cinemas to improve the societal uh, levels right from gender inequality to you know gender inequality to education rights health rights you know um akshay kumar's um, movie like bad man which speaks about the menstrual health of uh, women all these uh, films is a out of attention because this reflects the society of our uh, country okay next slide please fine so cinema and uh, society first of all cinema uh, depicts reality but we cannot always say that all films are depict reality most of the f- films are do depict reality like if we see the movie kashmir files which speaks about the heinous act uh, of a genocide uh, on the kashmiri hindus and also you know uh, so many th- things have been uh, there in the past which are presented through movies and also our independence our struggle has also been specified in uh, so many movies and recreation definitely films have a lot of humor in it and when it comes to our telugu films especially since i am from hyderabad uh, humor is always there compels thoroughly in every film so, uh, so you know we also see a film just for refreshment and uh, next uh, social and political importance there is a movie called bharat ane nenu in uh, telugu which speaks about how a government has to be run how a government has to govern its uh, people that movie has been uh, you know uh, shot so beautifully and there are uh, similar instances of several uh, movies in our country which speak about the social and political importance and next um, how did the opinion and uh, change the systems i still remember uh, watching a movie named pink in which amitabh bachchan says no means no you cannot go against a will of a woman while uh, while being in an intimate uh, scene so this uh, speaks volume about holding an opinion of the society and uh, similarly there have been any films like uh, thare zameen par and also three idiots which howl the opinion of public that people has to be let how they are and where they are and i am also able to relate this with the uh, satyendra sir's uh, thing that we should first be accepting how we are and uh, this will be easy for us to move ahead and next uh, films are also very educative in uh, nature yeah next slide, slide please so the next uh, topic is about impact on the society how uh, how films impact the 
society as a whole both uh, in positive way and also in negative way next slide please so first we will be speaking about uh, positive impacts of uh, films films are informative in uh, nature and uh, informative in nature and they are also educative in uh, nature uh educative in uh, nature means uh, we have had uh, so many films where it educates the youth of the country to uh, strive for improvement and to contribute to the uh, country's overall growth uh, both uh, socially politically and also economically and uh, creatively uh, also you know it impacts our heads like you know even watching cartoon films like uh, cinderella frozen uh, you can see how creatively uh, they create uh, characters and how they how the characters interact with each other so films are also very creative in uh, nature uh, and motivating films like uh, kgf pushpa rrr watching all these movies will just uh, set your blood high because all these movies are extremely motivating and heroic so and also uh, films are entertaining too as we have discussed earlier humor is a humor uh, is a very important aspect of of human life which uh, keeps us connected with others also and cinemas definitely entertain us a uh, public right from hera fairy to khol mal and also f3 in uh, telugu f2 f3 there have been so many films which just entertain the public and uh, make their day better next slide please okay next uh, films also build up uh, teens imagination excuse me right from watching harry potter to narnia or uh, to king kong etc all these films uh, enhance uh, enhances teens imagination and uh, they will also start uh, looking uh, from different angles and uh, they also open the eyes to find out about the happening problems uh, i uh, we know that uh, so many of us have been inspired with the way the film thare zameen par has been uh, shot uh, where dyslexia has been beautifully explained to people and how parents are deal with the issue how the society deal with the issue and everything and also inspiring about uh, inspiring about the pace of life films are uh, definitely talk about the explorative nature of a human uh, where human can uh, human can just uh, you know humans always uh, want to go um, find extra apart from what is happening now so uh, even for even in movies like thrill thadkne do zindagi ha milegi dobar all this movies explain about how people just uh, find happiness and uh, peace by uh, by looking at uh, different aspects of human life and uh, diminishing matter in the matter of color not only in color but also in gender equality and uh, human rights 
films speak about all these issues and having this sense of equality also yeah can we head to the next slide thank you uh films also speak about um, moral values we know that our uh, indian epics like uh, ramayan mahabharat etc all these films have high moral values in it and all these um, moral values have been carried to generation after generation through a uh, trans form music form etc but now currently all these uh, you know epics are being carried uh, forward through films only so films are also helpful in uh, furthering all our uh, indian epics and uh, films also enhances the public historical knowledge of a country right from talking about uh, chatrapati shivaji maharaj to speaking about mr halluri sita ramaraju etc we will be knowing about uh, different uh, past number of uh, freedom fighters who have fought uh, for our country and of uh, family values family values are our indian ethos has uh, deep roots of family values in it and uh, uh, all the films which uh, exhibit family values properly are found to be a hit for sure and heroic acts heroism is uh, just something which inspires and motivates people to do something better for the society and so heroism is always has always been celebrated in our uh, country right from watching mr amitabh bachchan's uh, jan cheer to mr rocky bhai sir uh, kgf heroism has always been a go to genre for our uh, people in the country and uh, films also broaden the uh, outlook of our uh, outlook like accepting different uh, genders from lgbtq to different uh, you know issues concerning to social hierarchies caste related issues and everything films have always aimed to demolish all these uh, discriminations etc can we head to the next slide okay next on negative impacts of indian cinema negative impacts of indian cinema so first uh, talking about smoking which has always been uh, a to prove heroes heroism you know this uh, just you know um, motivates us several youngsters to smoke uh, so there are uh, several other negative impacts of uh, being in a of watching a film like addiction to drugs vulgarity and social behavior promoting uh, violence his satisfaction imitating on screen behaviors where uh, uh, several fatal incidents have taken place where a uh, you know, small kid or a fan imitates uh, the stunts of the hero exactly and they end up uh, being injured or hurt and they ignore higher higher uh, oral values and ethical values by getting inspired from the films and uh, films also somewhere affects the lifestyle of the public by indulging in excessive smoking and uh, excessive uh, drinking behaviors next slide please so uh, 
cinema can always he has a medium to communicate to people about various aspects in our country and internationally also and uh, films or uh, you know will be helpful in spreading the knowledge about various things how uh, socially politically economically everything can we head to the next slide please so uh, the conclusion is uh, we should always take the good ones and omit the films which uh, impact us uh, negatively we should always take the positive attributes and uh, we should not inculcate the same uh, negative attributes of, of the film and just using it as a form of entertainment and we should not be imitating the heroes and heroines as it is in the films and uh, the films has has to always follow cinematic ethics and rules and they should not be hurting any elements or uh, sentiments and emotions uh, yeah so this has been my presentation on um, movies and its impact on the society thank you your voice is not audible rohil <laughs> hello now am i audible yes rohil uh, rohil you audible yeah so i was saying that it was indeed a wonderful play presentation because i because i mm, mm, because i didn't ever thought that there that uh, so much might be conveyed through the bollywood or hollywood mm, movies which we see so yeah i really uh, uh, i really uh, like i was very fascinated by the way you or you presented the i the ideas and the impact uh, after watching any bollywood movie thank you thank you so do we have any questions for me me meghna sir main sir main kuch kehna chahunga वो कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है पर लेकिन ये लेकिन मैं ये कहना चाहूंगा कि मैं रियली में काफी एंजॉय किया स्लाइड को कि एक सिनेमा के इस सिनेमा के भी माध्यम से काफी कुछ सीखा जा सकता है समाज में मतलब सिनेमा ही समाज का आईना होता है जो जो भी समाज में मतलब नेताओं के अलावा कोई भी अगर कुछ अपनी बात करना चाहता है तो वो एक सिनेमा एक बेहतर मीडियम हो सकता है अपनी बात पहुंचाने का और इन्होंने काफी मतलब काफी अच्छे ढंग से इसने से इसे पेश किया मतलब तो उसकी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव हर तरह की बातें की तो तो मतलब ऐसा प्रेजेंटेशन मुझे लगा कि इसमें तो कोई कि कि मतलब वो प्रेजेंटेशन ऐसा ही होना चाहिए कि सुनने वाले को भी कोई लोड ना पड़े तो तो वैसे भी मुझे जल्दी जल्दी कोई चीज समझ में नहीं आता है पर लेकिन ये मैं अच्छे से समझ गया और बिल्कुल हिजी वे में बनाया गया था हर काफी अच्छे से बनाया गया था तो तो मतलब बहुत अच्छा लगा ये प्रेजेंटेशन और एक और मैं मूवी का ये मूवी का जिक्र करना 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 चाहूँगा जो कि मैंने हाल ही में देखा है उसका नाम है सेवन 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 चार्ली वो भी काफी बेहतर मूवी है हाँ वो भी मैंने देखा तो वो भी एक तरह का आ, समाज में आ, एक तरह का अवेयरनेस फैलाता है कि आ, वो एक डॉग पे बेस्ड मूवी है जो कि हिंद बिल्डिंग से आ, रिलेटेड वो कुछ अवेयरनेस देती है समाज को और और मतलब 
आवारा कुत्तों को भी आ, मतलब आवारा मतलब जो भी आ, आ, जो भी मूक जो भी जो भी मूक पशु पक्षी होते हैं तो उन्हें भी अडॉप्ट करने का भी आ, आ, एक तरह का संदेश दे, देती है तो मतलब तो मैं यही तो मैं यही यही कहना चाहूँगा कहने को तो और भी है पर मैं पर मैं इतना ही कहता हूँ और अभी हम लोग को भी मौका देता हूँ थैंक यू शुभम जी थैंक यू ये मेघना जी आपने जो प्रेजेंटेशन दी है वो वो बहुत ही अच्छा जो आपकी स्लाइड थी आपकी स्लाइड से ही सारी चीजें क्लियर हो रही थी तो बाकी जो आपने सारी चीजें जो समझाई वो भी सारी चीजें मतलब क्लियर हुई और मतलब बीच में ये नहीं लगा कि स्लाइड में मतलब और हो रहे हैं वो क्योंकि आपकी स्लाइड ही इतनी अच्छी बनी हुई थी उसने सारा आपने ड्राइंग वगैरह और जो तो सारे नेम और पोस्टर वगैरह थे तो ये आपकी स्लाइड और आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन बहुत ही अच्छी थी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मनवेंद्र जी हैप्पी यू गाइस हैव एंजॉयड माय प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू यस तो वंस अगेन थैंक यू मेघना जी फॉर 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 योर वंडरफुल प्रेजेंटेशन सो नाउ वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड विथ मनवेंद्र जी ओके थैंक यू रोहिल जी और giving me chance for the presentation uh, my topic is uh, uh, I, actually maine koi slide nahi banayi hai main ye maine apne paas kuch notes bana rakhe hain to main wahi se ye प्रेजेंटेशन दूंगा शुभम जी मैं ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लूंगा मैं थोड़ा ही टाइम लूंगा इस प्रेजेंटेशन के लिए जी तो मेरा टॉपिक है लाइफ बिफोर ट्वेंटी इयर्स एंड नाउ तो अभी की जो हमारी लाइफ है वो कह सकते हैं सोशल नेटवर्किंग इसमें बहुत ज्यादा आ गई है सोशल मीडिया और जो लाइफ 20 साल पहले थी वहां सोशल मीडिया नहीं थी वहां सोशल सर्किल था वहां फेस टू फेस जाके बातें होती थी अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ मिलते थे लेकिन आजकल व्हाट्सएप पे ही सारी चीजें हो जाती हैं चैट्स और वीडियो कॉल से ऐसा ही फील होता है जैसे फेस टू फेस कि हम लोग आ गए हों तो इसमें ये ये, ये लाइफ जो अब है उसमें हेल्थ बात करेंगे तो वो अभी के टाइम में बहुत सारे ऐसी बीमारियां आ गई हैं जिनका हमने बीस साल पहले नाम भी नहीं सुना था लेकिन वो है आज सबसे ज्यादा तो ये साइकोलॉजिकल जो मिले हैं जो बीस साल पहले ये सब नहीं होता था तो हेल्थ की बात करें तो हेल्थ थोड़ी आपकी आवाज थोड़ी सी साफ नहीं आ रही है शायद नेटवर्क का इशू है या फिर एयरफोन का इशू है मेरे ख्याल से जरा सा उसे ठीक कर लीजिएगा तो अच्छे से हम भी सुन पाएंगे हेलो आप म्यूट पर हैं मान रहे आप म्यूट पर हैं ओके okay. 
हेल्थ तो लाइफ जो बीस साल पहले थी तो उस टाइम हेल्थ इशू जितने नहीं थे क्योंकि खाना जो था वो बड़ा ही शुद्ध था बड़ा ही अच्छा खाना पीना था देसी खाना पीना था लेकिन आज का जो है वो प्रोसेस फूड और पैक्ड फूड आजकल बहुत ज्यादा है जो कि एक रीजन है कि इतनी ज्यादा बैड हेल्थ हो रही है अच्छा और जब लोग बाग इतना स्ट्रेस भी नहीं लेते थे लेकिन आजकल वर्कलोड या इतना ज्यादा काम है कि फिजिकल जो है हेल्थ जो लोगों का फिजिकल है वो थोड़ा डाउन हो गया और स्ट्रेस लेवल ज्यादा हाई हो गया तो अगर हेल्थ की बात करें तो हेल्थ में हम हम फॉरवर्ड नहीं गए हम हेल्थ में बैकवर्ड ही गए हैं अच्छा अच्छा अब अच्छा अब बात करते हैं हैप्पीनेस की तो हैप्पीनेस भी मैं यही कहना चाहूंगा कि 20 साल पहले लोग ज्यादा खुश थे क्योंकि उनके पास फैसिलिटीज इतनी नहीं थी लेकिन सेटिस्फेक्शन लेवल जो उनका था वो काफी अच्छा था वो मेहनती थे फिजिकली काफी मेहनती थे तो ज्यादा खुश थे लेकिन आजकल फैसिलिटी बहुत ज्यादा है और वर्क लोड बहुत ज्यादा है तो लोग स्ट्रेस जो स्ट्रेस लेवल है वो काफी ज्यादा है और हैप्पीनेस लेवल कम है वेल्थ की बात करें तो वेल्थ तो ज्यादा आज ही है सैलरीज वगैरह तो अच्छी होती हैं लेकिन सेटिस्फेक्शन लेवल की बात करें तो वो बीस साल पहले ज्यादा था और आजकल अगर बात करें एजुकेशन की बात करें तो वो आज के टाइम में काफी ज्यादा है काफी ज्यादा पहले ज्यादा वो एजुकेशन देखने को नहीं मिलता था अगर बात करें कि 20 साल पहले तो बीटेक जो थे वो बहुत ही रेयर थे बीटेक डिग्री बहुत रेयर थी और जो थी भी वो बड़े ही अच्छे कॉलेजेस से थी लेकिन आजकल तो बीटेक और एमबीए बहुत मिल जाते हैं बहुत ज्यादा और और उसके लिए आपको क्लास जाने की भी जरूरत नहीं है सारा कुछ इंटरनेट पे अवेलेबल है घर बैठे ही आप पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन जैसे पीजीडीएम कर सकते हैं ये सब ऑनलाइन ही हो जाता है तो बहुत तो इस उसमें कहें तो बहुत अच्छा मतलब वर्क हुआ है ऑन एजुकेशन हाँ अगर क्वालिटी की बात करें कि क्वालिटी कैसी है एजुकेशन की तो वो एक अलग चीज है क्योंकि आपको याद होगा कि अगर 20 साल पहले अगर यूपी बोर्ड वाले के 60 परसेंट भी आते थे तो उसकी बहुत ज्यादा वैल्यू थी कि हाँ अगर 60 परसेंट है तो बंदे ने बहुत अच्छा वर्क करा है बहुत अच्छा मेहनत करी है लेकिन आजकल तो 70, 80, 90 परसेंट ज्यादातर के आ ही जाते हैं तो उसमें ये भी बात है कि आजकल बहुत अच्छी एजुकेशन है और सारा कुछ इंटरनेट पे अवेलेबल है एक ये भी रीजन हो सकता है और हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन की बात करें बहुत सारे आज हॉस्पिटल्स खुल गए हैं बहुत सारे हॉस्पिटल्स हैं जिनमें बहुत अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट होता है लेजर के थ्रू रोबोट्स के थ्रू और उससे लोग वाक्य और भी होते हैं लेकिन जैसे जैसे हॉस्पिटल ज्यादा हुए हैं वैसे वैसे बीमारियां भी बहुत ही ज्यादा हो गई हैं लेकिन ये कहेंगे कि हॉस्पिटल के लेवल पे अगर बात करें तो टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत ज्यादा हाई गई है फॉरवर्ड गई है तो इसमें हमने ग्रोथ की है अच्छा अब मेरा आता है कॉन्क्लूजन पे मैं यही कहूंगा कि कुछ चीजों में हम बहुत ज्यादा फॉरवर्ड गए हैं और ये बहुत ही अच्छा है बट कुछ चीजों में लाइक हेल्थ के लेवल पे अगर बात करें हैप्पीनेस के लेवल पे अगर बात करें सेटिस्फेक्शन के लेवल पे अगर हम बात करें तो हम हम फॉरवर्ड नहीं गए हम बैकवर्ड आए हैं तो मेरा यही कहना है कि हम जिन चीजों पे आगे जा रहे हैं वो बहुत ही अच्छा उसके साथ साथ अपनी 
हेल्थ को हैप्पीनेस को भी बनाए रखें इसके लिए स्पोर्ट्स खेला करें फिजिकल एक्टिविटीज में ज्यादा से ज्यादा पार्टिसिपेट करें और जिससे कि हमारा जो स्ट्रेस लेवल इतना ज्यादा बढ़ गया है सभी का वो भी कम होगा ज्यादा से ज्यादा ये सब ध्यान वगैरह ये ये जो सब चीजें हैं योगासन तो ये चीज पे भी है तो यही था मेरा टॉपिक थैंक यू शुभम टू बी अ वेरी पेशेंट लिसनर यहाँ पे मेरे अलावा और रोहित सर भी हैं वो भी वो भी आपको काफी पेशेंटली सुन रहे थे तो अब वो हाँ। वो आपके बारे में कुछ बोलेंगे थैंक यू रोहित सर थैंक यू मनवेंद्र जी मैं आपने जो भी बोला है मैं उससे पूरी तरह सहमत हूँ क्योंकि मैं जब भी गांव जाता हूँ लाइक हम बेसिकली दिवालियों की छुट्टियों में गांव जाते हैं तो मतलब हम सभी की मतलब हम रात को ऐसे ही कि, कि, किसी ना किसी प्रॉब्लम को लेके थोड़ा टेंस होते हैं लाइक कोई उनके जॉब को लेके या कोई उनके रिलेशनशिप को लेते लेकर बट जब हम गांव के लोगों से मिलते हैं ना मतलब वो लोग इतने सिंपल हैं लाइक उनके पास कुछ ना हो के भी वो इतना कुछ ऐसा जो बोलते ना कि आ, मतलब सबको खुशियां बांटने के लिए तैयार तैयार हो, हो, होते हैं वो वो लोग सो मैं आपकी बात से काफी सहमत हूँ कि हम जैसे जैसे लाइक करियर वाइज और एजुकेशन वाइज हम आगे बढ़ते जा रहे हैं हमारी मेंटल हेल्थ फिजिकल हेल्थ बहुत डिग्रेड होते जा रही है राइट जी 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 रोल सर आपने काफी बढ़िया कहा तो मैं भी मैं भी कुछ 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 कहना चाहूंगा कि इन्होंने इन्होंने जो भी कंपेयर किया अब से बीस साल की लाइफ से वो वो बिल्कुल वैलिड है इन्होंने इन्होंने पॉजिटिव के साथ नेगेटिव हर तरह का इम्पैक्ट का इम्पैक्ट के बारे में बताया कोडिंग के बारे में कोडिंग के बारे में बताया हैप्पीनेस के बारे में बताया एजुकेशन के बारे में बताया हेल्थ के बारे में बताया तो इन्होंने हर क्षेत्र को उनकी पॉजिटिव और निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट से इन्होंने तुलना किया और और एक निष्कर्ष निकाला कि कि अभी हम कहाँ पे हैं तो तो ये लाइफ तो हमारी बेहतर हो ही है हर चीज़ में पर लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं हमारा वो भले हेल्थ का साधन और 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 ज़्यादा बढ़ गया है हॉस्पिटल्स और और आ गए हैं पर लेकिन अब के लाइफ में लोग बहुत ज़्यादा स्ट्रेस लेने लगे हैं जिसके कारण कुछ मेंटल इशू भी हो गए हैं और अभी पूरी और अभी फूड की क्वालिटी भी अब भी अब पहले की तरह नहीं है जो जो कि हमारे हमारे पूर्वज लोग खाते थे और वो लोग खा खा के वो लोग वो लोग वो लोग शतायु वो लोग शतायु बचते थे पर अब तो वो अब पर अब पर अब खाने में अब बहुत ज़्यादा मिलावट हो गई है जिसके कारण लोगों का हेल्थ भी इम्पेक्ट हो रहा है तो तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा इनका 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 प्रेजेंटेशन तो बहुत सिंपल था और बिल्कुल इजी वे में इन्होंने बताया मैंने एंजॉय किया मन महेंद्र जी मैं लाइक मैं सच्ची में चाहता हूँ कि आप इस पर एक एक्चुअल पीपीटी स्लाइड बनाएं एंड आप यही चीज फिर से प्रेजेंट कीजिए ओके श्योर हाँ 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 ये सही रहेगा मैं भी अभी यही खाने वाला था वो वो मतलब रोहित जी ने कह कह दिया श्योर श्योर नेक्स्ट टाइम इस पर एक पीपीटी बनाऊंगा और दोबारा से अच्छा और ये मतलब आपको ये आइडिया कैसे आया कि आपको आज की लाइफ को बीस साल पहले की पहले की जिंदगी को कंपेयर करके लाइक कुछ ऐसा प्रेजेंटेशन या फिर 
प्रेजेंट करना है तो मतलब क्या सोच के आइडिया आया क्योंकि मतलब मैंने काफी प्रेजेंटेशन देखे तो लोग स्किल्स के बारे में प्रेजेंटेशन देते हैं या फिर आगे क्या होगा उसका प्रेजेंटेशन देते हैं बट ऐसा ये हेल्थ वाइज पता नहीं मतलब तीसा प्रेजेंटेशन इवेंट में शायद आप ही हो पहले जिन्होंने कंपेयर किया है ये जब मेरे पास ये एक मैंने मैसेज देखा था कि प्रेजेंटेशन है तो मैं सारी चीजें कर रहा था नोट नेम उसमें सारी चीजें आ गई उसमें जब आया टॉपिक तो मैंने सोचा नहीं था मेरे को क्या टॉपिक लिखना है वो बस ये था कि मेरे को कोई ना कोई तो टॉपिक लिखना ही है और वो ऐसा नहीं कि सोच के वो मतलब ऐसे लिख देना है रैंडम तो जो मेरे दिमाग में फर्स्ट थॉट आया वो यही था यार कुछ ऐसा लिखते हैं जिससे मतलब जो सबकी निखर ऐसे तो बहुत सारे टॉपिक होते हैं तो फर्स्ट थॉट मेरे दिमाग में यही आया कि यार जो हमारी लाइफ 20 साल पहले थी तो वो काफी अच्छी थी मतलब वो भी काफी अच्छी थी इसमें सेहतमंद लोग थे खुश थे सेटिस्फाई थे लेकिन जो लाइफ आज की है तो वो हमारे पास आज फैसिलिटीज तो बहुत हैं ट्रांसपोर्ट की ले लो या फोन इंटरनेट सब चीज है लेकिन एक जो कहीं ना कहीं एक हमारी सेहत है सेटिस्फेक्शन लेवल है खुशी का लेवल है वो थोड़ा लो हुआ है मैंने कहा यही लिखते हैं टॉपिक तो वो एकदम ही मेरे फर्स्ट थॉट के ही आया था दिमाग में मैंने यही लिख दिया खत्म होने से पहले किसी को कुछ बोलना है सर थैंक्स फॉर योर योर होस्टिंग आप इतना बेहतर प्लेटफॉर्म के माध्यम से लोगों को लोगों को इनक्रीज कर रहे हैं मतलब लोगों को ये मोटिवेट कर रहे हैं कि वो कि वो आ, कि वो आकर यहाँ पे अपने कम्युनिकेशन के मिथ को गलत साबित कर सकते हैं तो ये आप काफ़ी अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं तो भैया ये ये, ये कहना, कहना, कहना चाह रहा था थैंक यू और वन मोर थिंग ये जो प्लेटफॉर्म है यहाँ पे मतलब ज्यादा हेजिटेट नहीं होना पड़ता कि आपको कोई सामने वाला टच करेगा या कुछ ऐसा करेगा तो ये बहुत ही अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म है वो आपने बहुत ही अच्छी तरीके से सारी चीजों को होस्ट कराया आज और बड़े ही पेशेंटली आप और शुभम जी भी लास्ट तक वेट कराए कि मेरा जो था मैं मैं थोड़ा लेट आया था तो आ, तो आप दोनों ने लास्ट तक मतलब वेट करा है कि मेरा भी पीवीटी ने ये प्रेजेंटेशन पूरा हो जाए तो मैं तो आप दोनों को स्पेशली थैंक यू कहना चाहता हूँ बहुत बहुत थैंक यू आप दोनों को भी थैंक्स फॉर यू आल्सो थैंक यू ओके सो एवरी वन गुड बाय एंड हैप्पी संडे एंड अंटिल दी अंटिल दी नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन इवेंट हकलाओ मगर प्यार से थैंक यू गुड बाय बाय